News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, users? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And welcome to the weekly update for the 19th of February through the 25th. Uh, so this week, I've updated the Lightbox widget, I've updated the Swiper.js slideshow widget, and I've updated the animator widget. Uh, so yesterday, I released a video on the new update to the Swiper.js slideshow widget. Uh, so I'll leave a link to that video in the show more section below. So I'll go ahead and read the change log for all three widgets. So here I'll go to Chrome and I'll type in museforyoushop.com. So all of these widgets can be accessed at museforyoushop.com. Uh, um, and here I'll click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, templates are included as well. And the first widget I'll go over is the light box widget. So I'll scroll down uh, right here, and here we have the Lightbox widget. So here I'll scroll to the change log. Uh, so it's now the Lightbox widget 1.3, and the issue with the Lightbox not opening in Internet Explorer when other widgets are added to the page has been fixed, and all you have to do to apply the update is replace the Add First widget. So you wouldn't need to replace the other widgets uh, with the graphic style name, or if it's for a Hoverbox, you wouldn't need to replace the Hoverbox widget uh, you would just have to replace the add first widget. Okay, so the next widget I'll go over is the swiper.js slideshow widget. So I'll scroll down to that. Okay, so we have it, I think I might have passed it. Okay, so here it is, swiper.js slideshow for Adobe Muse, and I'll read the change log real quick. So I added the option to open links with the Lightbox widget. Uh, so that was in the video that I went over or that I created yesterday. So that'll be in the show more section below. Uh, there's the ability to set more than one main dynamic dot in the pagination section. Uh, there's performance improvements and updated code within the widget. And if you do not need to open the links with the Lightbox widget, you can simply replace the add first widget to apply the update. So I'll quickly showcase this. Um, I have the site here that I went over yesterday. So I'll go ahead and preview in the browser. And here we just have a slideshow. And now you can click on any of the images in the slideshow to open the light box. So that's all covered in the video tutorial I created for this update. Uh, yeah, so again, that can be found in the show more section below. And I'll also place it right here. Um, so you can come to the widget page and watch the video on creating uh, the slideshow and then clicking on it and it opens the light box with the light box widget. All right, so now I'll go to the next update, which is the animator widget. So I'll scroll down here and we have the animator widget and I'll go to the change log. So it's now the animator widget 2.4. So there's two new animations. There's the head shake and the jack in the box animation. There's a new on scroll setup and the on scroll animations with the same graphic style name will, not, will now animate individually when scrolled to and I'll showcase this really quick uh, in this video. And the issue with elements not, not animating on scroll across breakpoints has been fixed. And there's performance improvements within the widget and there's updated code within the widget as well. All right, so I'll quickly showcase um, the new on scroll setup. So here I'll just go to a blank page I have here in Adobe Muse. And here I'll go to the lab library panel here to the right. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. All right, so here I'll go to the library panel and I'll type in uh, animator. So A-N-M-T-R. So that's the abbreviation for the animator widget. And here we have the different widgets. So we have the add first, on click, on hover, on load, and on scroll. So the first thing I'll do is I'll bring in the animator at first and I'll place it at the top of the page. Uh, so now with this new update, you don't need to click that enable on scroll option if you do have on scroll widgets. Um, it just automatically gets added to the site so you don't have to worry about checking a checkbox. Um, and here we're going to add the animator on scroll widget. So I'll click hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse, and there we have the widget. So I'll just create a few elements just as an example. I'll add more uh, height to the page and I'll just create a few squares here and just um, apply color to them. So we have that square, I'll make it a bit bigger. 
and I'll copy this a few times. All right, so let's say like three times. All right, so I'll place that there and place, place it a bit lower. So with these elements, I'm gonna have it fade in from the right. So in the animator widget, so we have the widget here. Uh, we notice that, let me zoom in a bit more. We notice that the graphic style name is animate one. So that's the graphic style name I want to apply to these elements. So I'll select all of them and apply the graphic style name animate one. So to apply the graphic style name, you simply click on the graphic styles panel here to the right. And if you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles. All right. So here I'll create a new graphic style by clicking on this icon here. Uh, it looks like a piece of paper with a folded corner in the bottom left. So I'll click there and I'll double click on style. So I'll double click, it opens the graphic style options dialog box and I'll just type in animate one to apply that graphic style name to these three elements. So if you have them all highlighted and apply a graphic style name, that graphic style name will be applied to all of the elements. All right, so now I'm going to change the animation. So here where it says select animation, I'm gonna click the drop down and select fade in right, just like that. And now here we have the new on scroll setup. So we have initial opacity, uh, we have viewport visibility and trigger delay, and we can set the repeat on scroll. So we could have it uh, show the animation once or have it repeat every time the user scrolls to that element. Um, and here in the how to use section, I go over all the, the new options there for the on scroll setup. So if I click how to use, we have the different definitions for each of the widget options. Um, so here we have initial opacity. So I'll just read it here. Um, it says setting this value to zero will make the element not visible before it animates. This is only recommended for fade in animations, which we're gonna do for this one. So I'm gonna set the initial opacity to zero. Uh, then we have viewport visibility. So this is how much of the element is visible before animating. Entering zero will animate the element as soon as it enters the viewport. Setting this value to one will wait until the, the entire element is visible in the viewport before animating. And then we have trigger delay. Uh, this is how many milliseconds to wait before the element animates once it enters the viewport. Um, so because it is a fade in animation, I'm gonna set the initial opacity to zero so the element isn't visible before it fades in. And I'm gonna have the viewport visibility set to one so the whole, um, the whole square comes into the viewport and then it fades in. And I don't want any trigger delay and for now, I'll leave repeat on scroll un unchecked. All right, so I'll go ahead and preview. So file, preview page and browser, and I'll scroll down and we can see each element fades in. And they all have the same graphic style name, but we notice that they all animate individually, which is new in this latest update. So now you don't have to apply individual graphic style names for the same animation. You can just apply one graphic style name and they'll all animate individually on scroll. All right, so here I'll set uh, repeat on scroll. So it'll repeat the animation uh, when I scroll back to the elements. So there it comes in, perfect, and it repeats, looks good. All right, so that's basically it. Um, another thing I could do here is, let's say I wanted to ha animate elements from the left and animate elements from the right. I'll just create a new graphic style for these elements on the left. So I'll call it animate two. I'll change the color here, something like this. Copy the on scroll widget, and um, I'll set the animation to fade in left, right up here, so I say fade in left, and I'll leave the options the same here. Um, I'll just change this to animate two, and I'll change the instance number as well for the widget. Um, every unique uh, animation, you'll wanna give it a, a unique instance number as well. Um, so there we have animate two and we've applied animate two to these elements here on the left. So I'll go ahead and preview. And now when I scroll, we have that nice effect. I'm gonna change it to, uh, for both of these, for the viewport visibility back to zero because I am repeating it. I don't want it to disappear uh, before the element exits. So I'll set the viewport visibility so the element is completely off the page and it disappears and you don't notice that it disappears and then it, it'll come back in. If I were just to do it once, then I wouldn't mind setting the viewport visibility to one, but I'm gonna set it here to zero. So we have some nice smooth uh, transitions for the animation. So here I'll scroll down, looks really good. Perfect, I'll scroll back up 
and looks really nice and smooth. Perfect. All right. So that's the new update to the animator widget. Um, you can apply one graphic style, style name uh, to all the elements and they'll all animate individually on scroll. And there's a new on scroll setup. Just makes it really simple to have nice on scroll animations with the animator widget. All right, so those are all the updates. Um, to get access to all the widgets I've, I went over in this tutorial, you can go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click subscribe today. And here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. All right, and I'll go here to the swiper.js slideshow widget. Um, so all the widgets, you can click add to cart to purchase individually, or again, you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and templates I come out with for 39 a year. Okay, so that's it for this weekly update. Um, I've updated the Lightbox widget, the Swiper.js slideshow widget, and the Animator widget. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.